Hey, what's up, everyone? <coughs> hey, what's up, everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be flashing my Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket back to flash. Uh, this is just a video tutorial for those of you who might have uh, either soft bricks or maybe uh, you just don't like some custom ROM that you put on there or if you had a problem with the routing and just don't like it or you want to return your phone or whatever and uh, you want to unroot um, this is kind of the only method as of right now to unroot um, is to flash it back to the original stock ROM uh, so again this is the Skyrocket this is AT&T the stock ROM that we're going to be flashing this to is uh, an AT&T branded ROM so um, the instructions that I'm following is on the XDA developer site here and this is um, I am uh, gonna post this in the description as well as the necessary files that we need so uh, first things first a little disclaimer here um, that I'm gonna follow as well XDA says um, to not check the partition uh, repartition part and I'll, I'll explain that when I get to that part but also there's a whole section here that says they're not responsible for all of this stuff bad things that might not that might happen to your phone if you do uh, this uh, set of instructions here so this video is more of tutorial but also um, just showing you uh, that I'm doing it and I'm following these instructions and this thing works right so let's get started first I need to download and install the drivers uh, for my computer and I'll have uh, the link in the description and it says it's already installed do you want to install it anyways I'm gonna install it anyways um, just to show you All right just click next install and it'll take a couple of minutes um, so the other files that we need here is the uh, Odin version 1.85 and the actual stock ROM which is a tar file uh, on the instructions here it's strange because um, it says you need this uh, Odin file and that it would be down in the description or the downloads here but it's not but uh, I found a link to it and again I'll uh, be posting this link to the Odin file uh, this exact version that I'm using um, to the description. Oh, and now uh, go away, Avast. Um, one thing uh, is that uh, if you can, please donate to these guys. They make it so easy for us to do all this stuff to our phones. Um, you know, just a buck here and there, use PayPal. Um, I'm gonna make a video actually uh, while we're waiting for drivers to install. I'm gonna make a video on how to donate to your XDA developer friends. And um, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, so um, we've downloaded the drivers, right? And let's see. We're just going to go ahead and plug in. If this is your first time, well, obviously it's not. If you rooted and did stuff to your phone, you probably already downloaded the drivers um, for your phone. So uh, I'm just going to connect it anyways, just so that my computer can recognize the phone. I'm also uh, putting it into um, um, debugging. So if you go to, let's see here, your settings, and then go to applications, development, USB debugging is checked, unknown sources is checked, not really important for unknown sources, but just make sure those are checked so that uh, it recognizes every part of your phone alright so what's next it says uh, connect the USB cable to your PC but not the device oh okay now remove the battery I'm gonna power down turn it off oh by the way 
what we're about to do is going to completely wipe every app, all your settings, uh, any saved messages that you have on there. I suggest you copy it to the SD card or even uh, if you already know that all of your stuff is on the SD card, uh, take out the SD card or just back it up and put it on your computer uh, somewhere, just make a folder. Actually, maybe I'll even show you right now. Just some basic, basic cleaning up. Or backing up, I mean. Alright, so uh, I'm back and uh, I've got my phone plugged in here and I'm uh, in USB storage mode. So uh, when you connect the phone, you bring down your notifications and uh, you'll have this little USB and you can turn on or turn off uh, USB storage right there right so when you have those plugged in you have all your files here so you can just right click on your desktop make a new folder just call it backup and we'll just highlight everything drag and drop and it starts to copy. Then my external card here. I'm just gonna take. I'll just take my camera stuff. And I guess my music and podcast too. Right. So uh, once that's finished, got most of our stuff backed up. Then we will begin the reflashing of the ROM to stock ROM. Alright, so now that I got everything uh, backed up, uh, which by the way, as a side note, I do have another video that shows you how to use uh, titanium backup. Um, it's for rooted uh, devices. It's a great app if you want to uh, back up your apps uh, so that you don't have to download them again one by one. It'll restore or reinstall all your apps. Um, it's, it's especially good when you don't want to look up your apps or uh, if you might have apps that are no longer on the app store or it's difficult to get and uh, you don't want to uh, delete them so use titanium backup for that uh, but uh, for now I'm just going to continue on so uh, what I gotta do is put the phone into download mode so what I'm gonna do is connect now disconnect right and uh, I have to power down so go ahead and uh, shut this off and then what it's saying is uh, remove the battery. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery now. And then uh, wait a little bit, wait maybe like 30 seconds. Put the battery back in. Now you're going to hold the volume up and volume down keys. Uh, it may also be just the volume down, but when you're holding the volume keys, uh, now put in the USB cable. Plug the USB cable in while holding down the volume keys. Right, and you might get this warning here. It says a custom OS can cause critical problems. They must know that you're trying to do something to your phone. That's cool. I've never seen that before where it's a, a warning telling you. But it says uh, volume up to continue. So I press volume up, and this is download mode. It's a new kind of look before. It used to be a uh, uh, kind of triangle with a... Uh, with, uh, Android shoveling and it's also installing some drivers here right so you kinda want it to do this so let it do its thing right so once you've done that go ahead and close that now the next set of instruction is and be careful don't lose the connection um, now we can uh, start Odin so here's the Odin program and uh, I'm gonna take these files here. There's three files. I don't know exactly what I need, but I'm just gonna uh, 
copy all three of them, or drag and drop all three of them, unpack all three of them to the desktop. I don't think I need this PIT file. I think it just came extra for some other uh, project or some other thing that you have to do for some other device. So I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm not going to touch it. Um, I'm going to leave this file. It looks like uh, Odin might need this file. So I'll leave that alone. And so I'll just double click Odin. I'll go ahead and start that. And once you see this uh, yellow box icon thing here, it means that uh, the phone's connected and it's been recognized. All right, so next, they want to check auto reboot and uncheck all other options. So check auto reboot and uncheck all other options. And that big warning sign says, do not check repartition, right? Do not check this under any circumstances, I guess. I don't know. Just don't check that. Just follow what they, trust what they're saying. Um, what else? Okay, then we have to click PDA and select the tar you downloaded. So select PDA and the tar file they are talking about is. Where is it? This file here, which I gotta unpack first, so I double click on it, drag it to the desktop, so it's gonna unpack. Total size is about 600 megabytes. And we're gonna wait, because I don't feel like pressing pause on the recording. Alright, so our tar file is now on the desktop. Let me get rid of these. Two over here, my backup, get rid of that, the drivers, put that aside. Okay, so now click on PDA and choose this tar file here. Click on open. Now I'm going to press start and I'm going to hope that everything works fine and that I don't break my phone. So now it's working its magic. And I'm going to let this go for a while. Nothing's happening on the phone yet. Um, but it's going. It's working. And uh, so I guess uh, instead of just sitting here watching me, I'm going to uh, pause this and be right back. And I'll let you know how long this takes. Okay, so my phone uh, just finished uh, rebooting. It... Uh, after it finished, it took about five minutes or so, uh, but you know you should let it go for about ten minutes just to be on the safe side. And uh, once it's done, the phone uh, reboots. Surprisingly enough, um, all of my info, my apps, my let's see, yeah, all my text messages my apps, everything's still there, so this was pretty amazing. I, I'm totally confused now. But uh, it's not rooted, and I know that because um, I don't have super user, so uh, there's no super user here app, and uh, if I try to run, let's say, ROM manager, yeah, see, when I try to run ROM manager, it says you must root your phone for ROM manager to function. So my phone's not rooted anymore. So I just basically went back to stock. So uh, stock firmware. Um, yet I am totally confused. Maybe this only does uh, unrooting. I don't know. But uh, that's pretty much it. All right. I uh, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, up, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, and uh, enjoy. Have fun. Thanks for watching.